Redemption in Cherry Springs had a lot of potential, but it ultimately ended up being quite a mundane story. I wouldn't say it was a bad film as such, but there was a lot of room for improvement. This was released originally in 2021. It's directed by Latea Clausen and it stars Rochelle Eitz as our protagonist, Melanie. And Melanie is not a tremendously likeable protagonist. I didn't hate her, but for a lot of it, I really didn't like her. There's nothing wrong with the performance. The acting is absolutely fine, but she's a little bit irritating. And not completely, not enough that I couldn't watch it, but I didn't really care about her part of the story. There's supposed to be an emotional aspect as she's gone back home to sell a house. She's grieving the loss of her mother. I didn't really care because I didn't really like her as a character. So I never really got behind her part of the story. The mystery, however, involves uh, somebody going missing. And I will say that that part I thought was really fascinating. As soon as we found out the mystery happened, which took a long time, this the pacing is absolutely diabolical. But once it happened, I thought, yeah, I want to know. I'm really desperate to find out. And as we got to know a little bit more, it became a little bit more fascinating. But there was never that point where we had various suspects and I was trying to work out who it was and I was emotionally invested in it. I think I became less interested as it went on. To begin with, my interest increased a little, but then because the pacing is so incredibly slow, I just started to lose the will, to be honest. It became really dull and really boring, and we could remove about 50% of this film and not lose any of the mystery, not lose any of the information we find out about the case. We would still be able to watch it and have the same experience with that part of the narrative. So there is significant room for improvement. And when you throw in a protagonist who's sometimes okay, sometimes irritating, it's not the most pleasant experience. Would I recommend it? If you like Hallmark Mysteries, then I'd say it's worth watching because it's not a bad film as such. It's not like the mystery aspect doesn't make sense. It's not like there were no logical suspects. So that part of it was... Well enough written, I'd say the mystery part, the main narrative, if you like, was well written. It's just there's so much fluff and padding in between it that it takes forever to get anywhere. So the mystery aspect, yeah, it's perfectly enjoyable. As I said, my interest did start to wane a little bit as it went on, but I think that's less because of the mystery and more because of the pacing. And I was just getting fed up of all of this padding that served no purpose, that didn't move the story forward. So if you're looking for a good mystery, yes, the story is good. It's not a good film in the sense that the pacing works or that everything is relevant. There's no point in filling a narrative with padding. So definitely a lot of room for improvement. But if you're looking for an interesting mystery, then it might be worth checking out. By no means is Murder in Cherry Springs a perfect film. But I also wouldn't say it's a bad film. It's a pretty mediocre mystery, but if it sounds like it would appeal to you, it might be worth checking out.